Welcome back to another video with me, your host, Earl Care Brown. Let's take a look at how to do source separation of two speakers in one track. So you can see this is one track, two speakers. Here's my daughter and I. I my like name to is eat, Earl Brown, eat, and eat I teach linguistics and bananas. at Brigham Young University. I like to eat art, art. <laughs> Okay, so she's saying she's doing something weird. I'm I'm just talking about what I, what I teach at BYU. So <clears throat> let me show you how you can use. Um, let's go back to Canvas. In week six, module week six, right there is this source separation two speakers. This is a link out to Speech Brain. While well, on Hugging Face, a Speech Brain model, and I can just use this little demo right here. Um, let me just go ahead and do the demo right here. So. That audio I just played is, is right here called EAES Wave. So I'll put that up. Let me just show you. I My like name to is eat. Earl. There it is. So now if I do compute, it'll take a couple seconds or more to load the model and then try and pull us our voices out from each other and create two different wave files. Let me show you that. <clears throat> While it's working, I will point out that um, this can be done with Python. I think I'll show you that in a second when uh, this is done, let's see how this does. In fact, while that's working, I'm gonna grab this Python code. Down here, this Python code. And I will open up a collab for fun. Let me go to here, just do a new collab, more collaboratory, notebook, and zoom in. And if I just throw this in here. I do need to import, I actually need to download. I need to pip install right there. This first thing up here I need to grab as well. Let me just copy that. Come back over to my collab. Tori, let me pull this all the way over here. Let me make a new code cell above it right there. If I do the plus sign code, throw that in, come to the front of it and put an exclamation point like that. Run that. And then I'm going to need to push up onto this uh, storage device. Connecting to runtime, okay, it's connecting, it's kind of connect, trying to connect to Google's runtime. Good, now it has, and I'm gonna go grab the audio file with that button there to upload it there. And it's saying, make sure you save anything that's important because this, these files will be deleted afterwards. Okay, so it's working on installing still. Good, 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 good. Good, Blue, uh, green check mark right there. Now I do need to change some stuff in here. That, this one looks fine, that's for the model. That looks fine. But this one right here, this is uh, this, the path to the audio file. The example they have here in the code is uh, to a file called test underscore mixture dot wave. Mine is called ea underscore es dot wave. If I run that, let that go. While that's working, let's go back over to the website to their demo thing and let's listen to label zero. Ready, set, go. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat all, all. <laughs> so it did pretty dang good. You could hear my voice for like a split second during one of the pauses. Here's me. My name is Earl Brown and I teach linguistics at Brigham Young University. <laughs> so you could hear it did pretty good pulling me out from her, except at the very end where she laughed and uh, it didn't and it, uh, got that laugh. And there's a little bit of background noise from her speaking, but it did pretty darn good, pulling my daughter's voice and my voice out from each other from one track. This is one track recording both of us at the same time. So that's what it is. Let's just go over here and I just wanna show you the, the Python version. So that took 37 seconds there. So we should now have, let me refresh the file system, refresh that. And yeah, now I do have two new waves, source, one hat dot wave and source two dot wave. So let me just double click it. It should download it. Yeah, let me put it to my downloads there and do the other one as well right away. Double click it and save it down. By the way, if it hadn't double if it hadn't downloaded immediately, you can come over here to these ellipses and do download right there. So let's go over here and take a look. If I just listen to uh, source one wave, let's see what happens here. I'll open it up over in this other screen. Let me pull it over here for you. This is source one. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat all, all. <laughs> I mean, so let's give it the same result we saw in the other, we saw um, in the demo. I'll just 
for fun play this one as well. Here's me. My name is Earl Brown and I teach linguistics. So you get the idea. Um, so that's source separation. Again, it's it's like black magic. It's so cool. I, I don't know exactly what the actual procedure is for them to say, hey, there's, here's one voice. Let's grab that voice and follow it through the recording and pull it out. Here's another voice. Let's grab it and pull it out. I really don't know the internals of it, but that's so cool that it, it does a pretty good job. Um, it does better jo a better job if the voices are dip more different than if they're closer together. And also it does a better job that you would expect if you have good quality audio uh, recording equipment. So anyway, that is source separation um, and a quick little video on that. Again, you can, if it's a short file, you can just use their little demo here, but if it's a long like half hour social linguistic interview, you're gonna wanna use a Python um, API like this. And you can see the amount of code is really, really not much. You just simply do pip install speech brand with exclamation point. And then you, this is Python code down here in cell two. And you just update this pathway right there and it creates these two files for you. You can change the name if you want of those files, right? <clears throat> it does down sample down to 8,000 Hertz. Um, so be aware of that. And, um, you could throw these separate files into an ASR system to get better quality uh, transcription. Like if I were to try and throw the original into an ASR system, I don't think it would do that good. So anyway, that is um, source separation. Oh yeah, by the way, that was just with two speakers, right? So there's a model for three speakers, source separation model if you have three speakers at the same time in the same track. So that's um, this one here. <clears throat> Septformer Libri 3, that three means three speakers. That's what that's getting at there. Um, I just had the one with, with two right here, two mix. And they used a different corpus. Wall Street Journal is what was used here. The other one was used on Libri speech. So anyway, that is source separation. See ya.